like, no, I don't want this. Okay, how could you? We're a small world. I know. So my name is Kajilaye. I work, um, I've, I co-set up this network with my coordinator, Ms. Bwaliamwali. I'm really pleased that we did this at this time, not only because of all the things I've said, but also because Bwalia is here. Bwalia has been out for some time and we've been working on this and many of you know her, but we managed to do it at a time that she's back in Belgium. She's been working abroad and she'll tell you about her experiences in a second, but she's been out and she's enriched her experiences, and so we are back together to set up this network for you. Tonight, it's about migration. There's a big crisis in Europe. I've uh, been in Papua New Guinea where I've been working, and all you had every day was a crisis in Europe, and the crisis is very real. So the purpose of the, tonight is for, for all of you who are here with your different interests to meet people that, that you can discuss with to get to know the right information in order when you're doing with dealing with uh, this crisis that you have the right information and you can make the right decisions and take it up to the right people. I watched one of the asylum seekers who crossed the seas eventually reaching the ground on Europe who just said most times people just want to leave they don't look for a better life. Um, although many people just speak about refugees and not always distinguish correctly, they still have this idea that, yeah, we cannot take all or certain people are too much. And often there's a strong misperception also about the facts and figures. Just as an example, mm -hmm. Frontex released figures about irregular or border crossings of migrants and refugees into the EU. Basically, not uh, in Belgium alone, but for now in Belgium, but throughout all the European region. It's a network that we are setting up, which if you are living in a country, we don't have documents, we are there to assist you. We alone cannot do this. That is why we are collaborating ourselves or we are networking ourselves with other sister organizations who are on the same goal or who have the same vision as we do. Okay, we don't do it here alone. We have other branches elsewhere for which uh, we would also come up. We also got to know that most of the people who are undocumented in the country formerly, which was called illegal, which uh, by the grace of uh, my partners or my uh, same uh, PICOM, you know, they fought hard and they changed it to undocumented now. Uh, we got to know a lot of them are less privileged. Why are they less privileged? One, on health issues, you know, they are being deprived of at the same time, accommodation or, you know, even uh, how to eat, you know, it's, been, it's very difficult on them. So that is what we are about, to bring them together to see the possibility how we can enhance, you know, their living or their status. So my message concerning uh, the aim of uh, uh, African Diaspora Network is that we have been so many years putting barriers to us and sitting in a place of victims, but we're not victims. We have ideas, we have means, mm -hmm. and it's time that we use our forces to make change. And this change will not only impact our lives, our lives here as African diaspora, it will impact also the lives of those who are striving to come to Europe. Um, today, Africa uh, represents about a billion Africans, most of them are young, most of them are under the age of 30. By 2050, there'll be 2 billion. By 2100, there'll be 4 billion. So when you look at the overall context of these countries, you see that A, you have an exponential increase in the amount of youth. At the same time, this youth is ever more con connected through internet, through telephones, and their demands for good governance and for having the opportunity to live the life that they deserve to live is becoming more pressing. So I think today it's important, especially for people within, working within these European institutions, to hear the messages from practitioners from the ground, from the diaspora, from civil society organizations. But equally, I think one message that I would like to share with you tonight is that it's equally as important to pass the messages also to the African leadership. The migration problem in Europe is not just about Africa. I think mm. if Europe wants to address this situation, they have to address all the problems that are going on around the country, uh, the world. It's not about Africa, it's about people who are in trouble for one reason or another. Mm -hmm. Thank you.